Okay, before we get into the video, I thrifted this shirt. Super cute red. Like, I love it. It's a little baby tee. But it stitched really weird here. I mean, it was a thrifted item. It wasn't too expensive. And for now, I think it's really cute still. So it is almost the end of my second year at UCI. It is almost the end of the second quarter. There is only three quarters in a year. I figured since it is also college admission season for incoming freshmen next year, I wanted to do a little things I wish I knew before coming to UCI because I think these are things that aren't normally talked about. I also asked a few of my friends of what they wish they also knew too so we're just gonna jump right into the video your id photo that you take for your uci card that's gonna be your card for the next four years for me it was during covid season so i got to choose a photo that i wanted on my card send it in and then i picked up my card if regulations have changed on your move-in day you are going to be picking up and taking your photo for your id card that is if they changed it but if they didn't change it you're just gonna be picking up your id card so maybe just to be safe get ready or like feel comfortable because on that move-in day you're gonna get your id card and that is gonna be with you for the next four years so make something really minor but something to keep in mind living situations i lived in the mesa court towers and honestly i had a really good time in the towers keep a heads up on when applications for housing comes out because it is a first come first serve basis so you are going to want to sign up immediately but there are two little living communities there's mesa court and then there is middle earth so i lived in Mesa Court and this might be a bias but people generally consider Mesa Court to be better than Middle Earth. My advice in choosing where to live would be from like best to least Mesa Court Towers Middle Earth Towers, Mesa Court Classics, and then Middle Earth Classics. These Mesa Court and Middle Earth Towers are going to be the newer buildings and for the Mesa Court ones, at least. These are gonna be quad rooms. So you're gonna be in a room with three other people if you do end up living there. Initially, when I heard that this was gonna be like four people living in a room, I was like, holy crap, because I wanted a double. It's like, I kind of need my space. I want a double. Honestly, I think this was like a really good decision for me. It was just so fun living with like a group of people and I just I just love my experience there since you are living in a quad this is gonna be the cheapest option for you as well versus living in like a single or double or triple in the classics the classics are going to be a little older so try to get into the towers whether it's Mexico or Midor to be fair though talking to people in the classics I got like mixed reviews with their living situation it did seem like there was a more tight-knit community in the classics however because it was more of like a cohesive community but it really is how much you put into it is how much you're gonna get out of it so wherever you are if you are making that initiative to meet new people make new friends build your connections then you're you'll be fine wherever you are okay and then if you do end up living in mesa court towers or in a quad i suggest you get the top bunk bed that is next to the wall initially i wanted a bottom bunk but honestly getting the top bunk next to the wall was like the best decision i could have made because even though living with three other people was fun you kind of struggle with finding your own personal space oftentimes my alone time would be while i'm taking a shower like that was my alone time so if you are someone who really values their space and their time alone and you do end up living in a quad getting that top bunk next to the wall you kind of feel like that's your little area Area because no one can really see you on the bottom and then you also when you're like lying down up there you can't really see anyone on the bottom when you're against the wall it kind of gives you that illusion that you have more space to move around versus the bunk that was on the top in the middle of the room there's nothing surrounding it so you get this illusion that you have more space on the top bunk against the wall if you talk to someone else they may have different opinions but i just really like my top bunk there choosing your meal plan there are three meal plans that you can get so the seven day meal plan is you have unlimited access to both an eatery and brand new wine and you can go unlimited times every day seven days a week the five day meal plan is you can go unlimited times monday through friday except on the weekend you have to fend for yourself you go somewhere else to get your food there's a last one that is 135 meals only so you can choose wisely on when you want to use your swipes you can go any day but you only have 135 swipes all three meal plans come with 
Flexstein dollars, which is basically on-campus UCI credit for food. So on campus, there's like Starbucks or Panda Express, Subway, and you can use these Flexstein dollars to order food. The 135 meals is going to be the cheapest option. For me, when I started off with my meal plan, I chose the five day. So the meal plan is so freaking convenient because whenever you need food, you can go and get food. You'll always have food. You'll always be eating, which is good and healthy. But you kind of get tired of the food because there is like the schedule that food comes out with. You can always search up like UCI dining hall menu and you'll know what the food will be for that day. Over time, you're just gonna get the same meals over and over again and you kind of get sick of it. There's a plaza next to you where you can get like Chipotle or like Blaze and that's called UTC and it's right next to campus. I ended up there a lot getting food because I'd be kind of sick of the food at the Ant Eatery. Looking back at it and looking at how much I went out to get food and how many times I went to the ant eatery I could have just went down to the 135 meal plan but honestly it is based off of your own schedule and your own palate so if you think the seven day meal plan is right for you then by all means stick with that just know there is an option if you do want to cut down on the meal plan and save a little bit of money to switch it to a lower meal plan you can't switch to a higher one but you can't switch to a lower one just know that's an option because I did not know that was an option you also get guest swipes with your your meal plan so if you ever need an extra swipe your friends who have meal plans can swipe you in and that's how me and my friends did it depending on what major you are you're gonna be pretty busy you're at this university now it's such a different pace from high school you just have so much on your plate you're gonna be studying a lot these are my favorite spots to study on campus this place might work out for me but it might not work out for you so take it with a grain of salt my first one will be the science library i love it there it is so beautiful to me freshman year I discovered this little spot that I actually mentioned in one of my vlogs and I went there and I vlogged there once It's on the fourth floor and it's those tables that are near the window I love it there. The fourth floor is going to be the quiet floor in the science library The second floor and the fifth floor are gonna be floors where you can talk a lot more Second and fifth floor have a pretty similar vibe to each other or like the tables and chairs there are a lot more modern I would say versus the fourth floor gives you like library vibes if I'm by myself I'll go to the fourth floor and if I'm with people, I'll go to the fifth floor. I'm one who also loves sun. So some outdoor places that I love would be the tables right outside of the student center. I used to study at the tables outside of the BioSci Starbucks. So the Starbucks that is next to the BioSci building. Wi-Fi is not the greatest there though. My first quarter, the student center Starbucks was not open. So when it opened my second quarter, I loved, loved working there. If you love coffee shops, the vibe there would would be perfect for you because literally when you go inside it doesn't even feel like you're on a Starbucks on a campus like it feels like you're in a real Starbucks and I really enjoyed it there and it was really convenient because the Starbucks at the student center was at a good middle ground for wherever you needed to go I also loved studying at the ALP or ALP however you like to say it it's just kind of hard to find seats there because there's not too many tables or seats available but that is also a place that I do like to study at for my classes because I had a good amount of classes so UCI is through a quarter system. Getting through a quarter system, it's so freaking fast paced. Depending on your professor, you are going to get a midterm either week three or week four, sometimes week two. And since you have so many different classes, you're gonna feel like you're in midterm season every single week until finals week. Okay, there was this one time that I was so freaking burnt out. This was freshman year and I had nowhere to go because I wasn't alone in my room. I literally went into the gender neutral hallway bathroom on my floor and I locked myself in there and like I was I was going through it I called my friends and I was just like I don't know what I'm doing me now I'm just like oh my god you're so dramatic but and I was like bruh I don't know what I'm doing I don't even know if I like like what I'm doing I'm so stressed out every day I feel like I have no time for myself I feel like every day is the same I wake up I study I like test and I just don't feel well and my friend told me that you have this bottom foundation for yourself if you aren't taking care of yourself at like a physiological level which is sleeping eating exercise you're obviously gonna feel like crap because you're not giving this energy back into your body when i heard that i was like damn i'm literally not doing those things like i'm sacrificing my sleep my free time is no free time like i'd just be studying like i was so stressed out for no reason when in retrospect i literally could have taken a step back made time for breaks like just be kinder to myself but literally that 
that was the best advice I've ever gotten and that's always stuck with me So now whenever I go through anything, I'm always like, okay, am I eating well? Am I sleeping well? Am I journaling? I mean, that's also clearing your mind, you know? The answer would always be no if I was going through something in one of those categories. So the best advice that I can now share with you guys is keep your foundation strong. Whatever you're doing, the most important thing is keeping yourself healthy, keeping yourself sane, and literally the small step of being in a consistent routine does so much. So the campus is so beautiful too, so take advantage of the space you're in. Ooh, something that goes along with moving your body. There is a gym in both little living communities, Mesa Court and Middle Earth. There is like a small gym there. But if you want to go to like a bigger gym that has the full range of everything you need, there is the ARC. You can take the bus there. Use the app Translock or Transloc. It's probably for location. So Transloc. And that will teach you how to use the bus to get to the ARC. With your ID card, you just swipe in and you get free admission to this gym. Take advantage of this free gym. Okay, this has been a long enough video but thank you so much if you've stuck by and finished towards the end congratulations if you got admitted to uci i hope my advice helped at least in some type of way make sure to check out my other videos and future videos because i do do a lot of vlogs throughout my college career here i've been talking for so long my throat is dry thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one